<sighs> All right, guys. This is it. This is the final side story. Equals. It looks nice, doesn't it? I worked hard. This is the final side story. I thought there was only six, but there's a secret seventh one here that you get if you complete every other side story. So it's not so secret. I'll tell you what, they gave you a bank for your buck. So this is a lot of extra content. I was not expecting this. The only disappointing factor for me was that there's nothing scary about these side stories. I mean, this this is a horror game. That was the Maybe that's, what here made, that, that's what made Doki Doki so special. It was it was like a horror game in disguise. These side stories, however, are, they're like they're just all story, and they're, they're good stories, but there's nothing scary about them. Were we speaking too soon? Maybe we're speaking too soon. Let, let's find out. Final side story, let's go. This might be the final part. Who knows? But let's get started. Okay, everyone. <clears throat> We're gonna be taking a break from the usual activities today. I was thinking since people are starting to talk about the festival, it's a good time for us to go over to the general discussion of the club and all that. I think it'll help us figure out what we want to do for the festival, you know? Oh, Sierra and I already came up with a really good plan. Really? For the festival? Yeah, so the plan is this, okay? You and Yuri collect information ahead of time on which clubs and classes are doing food booths. Then we take a map and plan the <laughs> most efficient route, so we can get the most of them before the lines get too long. Hey, that has nothing to do with the club. Well, you have to let me finish. Alright, fine. Go ahead. Right, so basically we get all get the food we can, then we come back here and we all eat together. That's all. Wow, I got tricked twice by the same joke. Boo, don't be a hater. It's not like you can come up with anything better. Look, even Yui wasn't thinking about it. Even Yui was thinking about it. No, no, I wasn't. I would really prefer to do something literature related. We can eat together anytime. The festival is a unique opportunity. Besides, it's been quite a while since we've seen any new interest in the club. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. We really need to get a shot at showing people what the literature club is all about. I'll tell you what, we can do both, right? I mean, we'll make time for your food mission and still put together a public event. Oh my gosh, yes! I was just joking, but that's really a good idea. <laughs> well, I'm glad that's settled. I think the question is how to come up with an event that demonstrates everything you get out of the literature club. Well, that's kind of tough because everyone gets something different out of the club. Okay, how about this? Let's go around and have each of us talk about what we've gotten out of the club so far. That could help us figure out what kind of reputation we want to build. Yeah. That's too embarrassing. Oh, uh, but you'd have so much to talk about. That's exactly why. I'm sure that Natsuki feels the same way. Well, maybe, but I didn't plan on arguing against it or anything. I mean, it's the literature club. We can talk about that stuff together, right? Only way to get more comfortable with it is to suck it up and do it. Oh, you're not wrong. I'm sorry for being so resistant. It's not good to say suck it up because it sounds like the feelings don't matter. Right, my bad. It's just a habit I need to break. Well, anyway, who's gonna start? I'll start. I was the first to join, after all. Haha, <laughs> wouldn't that be me? No, I want to go first. Fine, fine. You can start. I don't mind. Yay! So... Oh gosh, it feels like so long ago. I think I joined because I wanted to have fun sharing poems with people. It seemed like it would be a safe way to express myself, you know? Like if it's my first poem, then I can just share it without feeling like I'm burdening everyone with my problems. And I thought it would be a really good way to get to know other people too. So yeah, I was really surprised when I walked in and it was just Monica. And she was sleeping. <laughs> Don't mind that. Oh gosh. Yeah, but it seemed like so much fun to help start a new club. Especially since writing helped me so much, I wanted to see it help other people too. But it ended up being me who was inspired, because I remember feeling like Monica was just so sweet and mature that I could trust her with anything. <coughs> it made me feel a lot less alone, having someone else who knew even the bad things about me. And at that point, I knew the literature club was going to be special for a lot of people. Yeah, I felt the same way. It really helped me give a club a more cohesive vision. Yeah, and then Yui joined, but she was no different from us, and Natsuki too. I think for Yui, it really helped me f to take the lead before she was able to open up a little. But Natsuki was kind of the opposite, where she wasn't ready to get really close to someone really quickly. I never really thought about that sort of thing. I really feel like I've gotten better at understanding people's different needs. And that makes me really happy, because my friends are just the most important thing to me. 
And whatever new members we get, I want to help them in those ways too. I don't know if I would have continued coming to the club if it weren't for you. Really? Mm-hmm. I know it wasn't too long ago, but it hurts to think about my behavior back then. I was really short-sighted. The only reason why I came was to find others who were into fantasy. I suppose that was my idea of making friends with people. And I remember feeling uncomfortable because you and I have such different energy. I had such a specific idea of the kind of person I could be friends with. So when Sayuri tried so hard to get to know me, I felt like I was just wasting her time. I think I was naive to assume a similar interest for a key component of friendship. Sayuri and I were able to be friends because she always thinks about the needs of other people. That's something I never knew how to do, or even the thought to do. But I stayed in the club. Thanks to that, I started trying as hard as I could to understand people better. You really went above and beyond when it comes to that. I was super impressed. Well, I always hated that I didn't know how to behave like a person who is easily liked by others. Like the two of you can. And because of that, I spent so much time thinking about my own behavior and all the things I said. But the whole time, I should have been thinking about other people instead, not myself. Once I started doing that, I was able to make friends with everyone else. Oh, I also discovered that sometimes I'm a better communicator when I take the time to write rather than speak. It's so strange the way things turned out. It's so far different from anything I ever would have expected. But I'm happy. I suppose I don't know what we really need. Oh my gosh, you're so cute that I'm going to throw up. Okay, don't do that, Siori. Besides, I'm not cute. Hey, isn't that my line? Oh. Well, for me, it's actually true, so... What are you saying? Nothing. I finished my part, so someone else take her turn. My heart. Tiori, take some deep breaths. Okay, fine. I'll go. Yuri, I can't believe you are complaining about doing this and still went before me. What a show-off. I was just following up on Siori. It was the easiest way to get it over with. Besides, you left out the most important thing that you get out of this club. I did. Yeah, a regular supply of your favorite cupcakes. Oh no, I forgot that too! I'm a traitor to the cupcake queen. Neither of you are forgiven. Looks like only Monica will be getting cupcakes next time. No! You're starting to remind me of the Roadhog. That's not okay. I can't eat that many cupcakes. Yeah, true. Only you can. Hey! <laughs> well, anyway, I'm just putting off talking. It's kind of hard to talk about this stuff. But I guess what it comes down to is that I'm in a much better place mentally than I was before I joined. And that's because everyone helped me to realize that I had some really toxic friendships going on outside the club. It was honestly a really painful thing to go through, having to cut them out. It still hurts to think about. I'm sorry, Natsuki. It's fine. I knew it was for the best, and I was right. I guess for me, it's all about feelings. I was only ever ridiculed for having feelings, so I thought the right thing to do was to just ignore them. It took me a really long time to realize that it's not really how things are supposed to work. And I guess that's like to everyone who took the time to respect my feelings, even when I was being like the biggest jerk. I'm really sorry for being such a jerk to everyone. I was really the worst. Natsuki's voice chokes a little. We love you, Natsuki. I just hate that I was like that. Everyone did so much for me, and I can never do anything in return. That's not true. Natsuki, you've done a lot more than you think. This club would have really been the same without you. I mean that. Remember how judgmental I was when you showed up? It was like I couldn't accept anything other than my own idea of what literature club was supposed to be. Apparently, that was more important to me than the opportunity to bring you some happiness. You really taught me that anything that makes someone happy is worthy of respect. You even inspired me to start playing piano. That's something that means a whole lot to me. So there's no need to put yourself down. Okay. Natsuki wipes her eyes. You helped me a lot too. It's so much fun to have you around. And you helped me become a better person. Having a problem that doesn't make you needy or inconvenient it means that there's something that needs to be better for you, and you always deserve that. I agree. Seeing us have some of the same struggles made me a better person as well. I wouldn't want to change anything about our time here. I don't think any of us would. I'm sorry I got all dramatic again. That's all I wanted to say, so Monica, you can go now. There's 
no need to apologize. It was something I wanted to talk about, anyways, because it made a big difference for me. I was always such a strict professionist who never took enough time to believe in the best of other people. But everyone kept proving me wrong. I made the mistake multiple times thinking that my way was the best for everyone. Or thinking that I needed to solve other people's problems. But I think being a leader means that you have to acknowledge that you're not perfect. And that's the best thing you could do to help guide people rather than do everything for them. We're all good people. We're all equals. I think the most important thing I've gotten out of the club, realizing what that really means. So you are, what are you doing? I just thought that we should be writing some of these down. Things about the club that are valuable to us. With a piece of chalk on her hand, the COA writes the word trust on the talk board. This is because you showed me that I can trust you with everything about me, not just my good side. Suddenly, Yuri takes a piece of chalk as well. She writes understanding. Oh, this is listing off all the side stories, isn't it? It's nice. I, I owe a lot of gratitude to everyone who took time to understand me, even though it was difficult to, for me to express myself. Hmm, in that case... Monica takes a piece of chalk as well and writes the word, respect. You disrespected me. I always thought that I was a respectful person, but it took the club for me to realize that there was more to it than I thought. And I'm a better person because of it. I have another one. The COA writes balance. Sometimes people want different things out of a friendship, or they need time before they're ready to become close. So it's important to keep things balanced between you and the other person. That reminds me. Yuri writes reflection. I've always been a reflective person, but most of it has been nothing more than hating myself for all the things I thought I did wrong. Once I started reflecting on other people, and not just myself, a lot of things changed for me. So I think that's the most important one for me. That's great. We have a whole list of things now. Suddenly, everyone turns to look at Natsuki. Well, everyone took all the chalk. Don't look at me like that. Jeez. You could have just asked. Monica hands her a piece of chalk to Natsuki. Then, Natsuki sighs and writes, writes self-love. I don't know how far I've gotten with it yet, but it feels like things are at least on the right track. So there, that's my contribution. Together, everyone stares at the words at, on the board. Wasn't this club supposed to be about literature? It is. We still do a lot of literature. Friendship and literature. Yeah, you're right. Friendship and literature. Natsuki and Yuri gently nod as well. Hey, let's take a picture. Let's all take a picture together. We don't have one, right? Hey, you're right. Make sure you send it to me after. Wait, can I brush my hair first or something? Oh, you're fine. You already have the best hair out of all of us. Hmm. Everyone, get together. I can't fit you all in. Okay. Okay, everyone ready? <laughs> and click! Oh ho! Can I see the picture? Wait, we're not gonna even see the picture. I'm they're probably gonna show. They're probably gonna show it to us after. I'm really glad we talked about this stuff. It's easy to forget how far we've come with only four members. Yeah, I have so many happy thoughts right now. I'm getting some really good inspiration for a poem. You know, I feel the same way. Kind of want to get some writing done. Me too. I think I would like that as well. Everyone's looking at me again. I'll do it too, but I might not feel like sharing it. That's okay. That is really okay. The four members of the literature club disperse and return to their desks, each equipping themselves with a pen. Natsuki and Yuri give each other a quick glance, then start writing immediately. The Yuri stretches, then does the same, but Monica is left tapping her pen against the paper, unsure of where to start. Just move your hand. Monica mouths to herself, back to square one. I remember the first side story. Write the way into your heart. Her mind full of thoughts, memories, and inspiration, Monica navigates past the mental barriers and begins to write. It doesn't matter what, just that it's something new. Well, that was a weird fade out. That was pretty cool though. Bang, 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 bang. A nice song. Is it over? Please tell me it's over. No, it's not over. Never mind, it is. 
No, no, okay. You were right, okay. I thought, I thought it wasn't over, but it was. All I, I did it for the Horde, and no other reason. Very well written, but damn, man, I, I, I thought it was gonna still be a Horde. I, I thought it was still gonna be a Horde game, you know? So if like an attractive, like a really, really attractive lady were to join chat, would we just kill each other? I don't know. Probably, I guess. Because apparently that's what could happen. <laughs> Why don't we get any backstory on the main character? I kind of wish we got backstory on the main character too, you know. <laughs> don't look at the genetics. Thank you, dear player, for enjoying our story of friendship and literature. Made by Team Salvato. Oh, there's the picture. The picture. Yep, and that friendship is broken. And that friendship is broken. This is going to be like the shortest part ever. Final part, shortest part. This is different. Okay, now everyone make a funny face. Everyone say cheese. That's nice. You know what? Good story. I just wish it was scary, you know? Uh, without a doubt, hands down, this was the hardest series I have ever done. Harder than Resident Evil Nightmare Mode. Harder than League. Yes, I'm saying it right now. This is harder than my League of Legends series. The series where you literally see me lose my mind. This was harder. I'm not even joking. Oh my goodness. Anyway, there's still a bunch of stuff here that I, I do want to unlock. I don't know how to unlock any of it though, because it's all secrets. Apparently you need to do stuff in the game or select certain words in a poem to unlock these promo and all these other pictures. I, I do want to 100% this game. I might make an, I might make like an extras episode after this and get all this stuff done. And then that'll be the uh, finale of this series. My first one after the tying up all loose ends video. I think it's better than any of my other previous series. Although I was hoping to have a face cam for this one, but I couldn't get one. The best thing I got was a mic stand to make the audio better. So I hope that was good enough. For the next one, I'm hoping I have a face cam. Because that's what I really want. I want you guys to see my face while I play these games so that you can see my expression and stuff. But this is the best that I, I got. I'm also proud of my thumbnails. I do like them too. I said, say something inspirational. You want me to say something inspirational? Yeah, it's the end, dude. You you remember when my fucking... When I got to episode 30 in League, I released that like weird tribute video. Well, you do the same. Come on, say something inspirational. I'm not good at that stuff. Of course, yeah. The best thing I, the best thing I could say is, if any of you guys had these struggles that these girls all had, just know that there's always tomorrow's always another day, and that you can always move forward. Duh. Never give up. What type of flimsy ass inspiration is this? I'm not. I told you, I'm not good at the, I'm not Here, good at I'll making tell, inspiration I'll tell you speeches. What. You got good genetics. You better watch out, cause you will ruin friendships. Yes. If you, if there is a male coming in, don't hesitate. Don't let him. Ruin everything that you've worked up for. Can I can I see that picture again? Yeah, th this guy right here. This guy. This guy right here will ruin your dreams. They they don't have the picture of uh Siri hanging yourself or freaking Yuri. <laughs> I'll tell them on screen right now. All this friendship, all this, just for this to happen. For this, Yuri, dead. Siri hanging. Natsuki throwing up. And Monica. As a laughing happy as can be monica happy as she can be this is her right now when she saw all that this is her when her friends died smiling happy anyway it's it's whatever i'll do a, i'll do an extras episode where i 100 uh, percent the game that'll be out i don't know when this uh, oh yeah, by the way this has been like two whole recording sessions recording these side stories that's why these videos didn't have any intros and that's probably why we sound a little bit tired on, on some of these not the ending i was hoping for but an ending either way. That was a, that was like the shortest side story ever, but good enough. Team Salvato, Serenity Forge, good job. But you, you had a lot more than I thought. I did not think the game would be this long. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys. Bye, guys.